hi students in this video we are going to learn how to construct the similar triangles look at the question now construct a triangle similar to the given triangle pqr the sides equal to the 3 by 5 of the corresponding sides of the triangle of pqr is a question first they are asked to draw any triangle for the triangle they didn't mention any measure so you can draw any triangle of your own measure i am just drawing a triangle without any measurement only the three sides you are going to make so i am making like this so here i am making in this way so i made a triangle now my question is we need to form a similar triangle that should be 3 by 5 of the given triangle so here i am going to take it as this is my p this is my q and this is my r so here first what you should do is what is a big number in these two you verify this is 5 is your big number just to take your compass so the big number is 5 we are going to cut 5 arc in which we have to cut the 5 arcs means this is my baseline of the triangle from the baseline you just take some acute angle line so this also without any measurement of angle you just draw the line in this way this should be the acute angle that is the case now after drawing this line with any measure you can draw this line just to take your compass with any measurement it can be 1 cm or 2 cm here my look, big number is 5 so I am going to cut the 5 arcs now here from keep your needle in Q just cut 5 arcs this is my first arc and second arc third arc fourth one and this is my fifth arc after drawing just name this this is my q1 this is q so this is q1 q2 this point is q3 and this is your q4 and this is your q5 after writing these numbers look at the denominator this is very important children whatever number given in the denominator that should be joined with the triangle here 5 is given now so the 5 now that, you, that means that is your q5 so the q5 should be joined with this r so take your ruler and join this q5 with your r so after drawing what is the one more number given in the question actually 3 by 5 part i want to join so 5 i have connected now so the third part i want to join that just mean q3 i have to join so q3 you have to make a line inside which because it's coming inside that's why we are going to draw this inside but drawing it's not very easy we have to make the parallel line in this way so with the scale you cannot draw this one so what you should do is we are going to make the corresponding angles are same just to take your ruler with any measure so adjust the measure one centimeter or one point anything favorable measure you take it keep it here in q5 listen children cut the arc like this with the same measure Q3 also, you just cut an arc in this way, cut like this, after this one, you have to take your compass, this angle should be measured with your compass needle and your pencil, you have to measure like this, after measuring, you have to take your compass without changing, you have drawn the arc, the new arc is there now, from this arc, you have to place your compass in this place, cut the arc now why we are cutting in this way now we are going to make these two angles are equal this angle and this angle are equal after drawing this arc you will be getting a point here that point and q must be joined q3 and this point should be joined and the line should be extended to the base of the triangle so this angle then this angle are equal so corresponding angles are equal these two lines will become parallel the same concept we are going to do it here also so again take your compass keep it in R just to draw the arc any measure it can be but you have to draw the arc in this way after drawing this take your compass from this point also you have to draw the same arc so draw like this after drawing this one you have to measure this angle by using the compass needle and pencil measure the arc angle like this after measuring bring it and you will you got the point newly here no you just keep it here cut the arc from the same arc we are cutting this in order to make these two angles are equal so after cutting you will be getting a point here 
so this point and this point should be joined to make a parallel line so here like this you have to join so here p is there you just write it as p dash here r is given here you can write it as r dash now p dash q r dash is a similar triangle to p q r so this is your final diagram thank you for watching you can subscribe our channel for more videos